Hey guys, welcome to a quick update. I'm going to do one on the hard surface toolbox. I'm going to do one on the bevel magic add-on that I made. I took a lot of time making this over the last week or so, just kind of put together and troubleshoot it. So that way, you know, if you were to add a bevel, you'll see you get like quite a few options in here. And once you've um, got a bevel, of course, you can do all your presets. I won't go over too much more of that. You can delete all your modifiers. And so a couple of upgrades here. Um, I'm going to do a lot more with this, but under HSTB3, you'll now have a cylinder you can drop in. Okay. And you can do whatever you want with it up here. You can kind of scale it, bring the depth, bring up the vertices. The side segments can easily go to like 10. That's going to be loop cuts on the side. Um, then the Vert's probably, I don't know, like 100. Seems good. And then whatever you want else you want to do here, um, go back to HSTB3. I'll shade auto smooth, and you'll see nothing will happen because this is actually a node group. This is a geometry node setup that I kind of put in here so you can do whatever you want with it. You convert it to a mesh right then, and then once you've done that, you can shade it smooth and then if you want to create that as a nice boolean object or something you can do that then if you go into the edit menu under preferences it'll now say hstv 2.7 hard surface toolbox 2.7 there's quite a few things in here you can go through it check it out at your leisure i've already uploaded this so under the remove here, you can change how it looks as far as the metric and imperial, the degrees, meters, and the scale of the viewport. You could change the contrast, the look, the exposure. You go from CPU to GPU. It should All these settings should stay. Um, supported, experimental, blah, blah, all that good stuff. The noise viewport should be off and render should be on. Render samples, path guiding, path guiding samples, light tree, all this is kind of like right here, ready to go. It should be somewhat preset. And if you've got resources, you want to pack them, you can pack them, save a startup file, and have an auto pack. Okay, now another cool thing, if you want to push more memory to your render, this locks up your interface while you're rendering. Before you actually render, you can come click this, and it's going to give all the memory to your render. So that might help people with uh, slower PCs. So just kind of like thinking about what I could do for y'all to make this a little bit better. Then you've got a menu that's a, it should be almost the exact same menu, minus a couple things. Hard service toolbox, control alt Q. You'll get a context menu, but you won't see all this yet. You jump into edit mode. And I have to kind of go back because I accidentally left that on. It locked up my viewport and I couldn't do anything. So it's nice to know that completely works um, as far as while I'm testing it out here. Now under the hotkeys for this, it's control alt q context menu, but you go into edit mode, doesn't matter what, shift left click or right click, whatever you are, on all these. I'm going to update this later when I get an opportunity so all these are selected, but that might not be helpful. So just if you just go ahead and select it for your session and hit control alt q and pull up your context menu you'll get everything in one spot which is pretty useful and then under here i've got an object menu which might make sense for some people they just kind of have everything in one spot now for bevel magic if you only have bevel magic then the hot keys for this are going to be shift alt q okay just so they don't conflict and you'll have a vertex menu, edge, face, and utilities, context menu is there, and you'll have a mesh menu, which I think makes a little more sense. And so if you want to come in here and bevel vertices, uh, you can do that. And there's some really cool tools in here that will really um, help you model pretty quick. Like I said, you can add the bevel and then add the presets. I mean, you're like halfway there already, and then the HSTB. Now, hard surface toolbox three panel 
it says it's going to drop in this nice little geometry node setup here so you can create a neat little boolean object when you're done you got the birds radius and depth everything the way you want you convert it to a mesh and I'll just slide back over here and shade auto smooth and so just in case you didn't know bevel magic and hard service toolbox are designed to work together but they can work independently and so now that that's been done if this was your object and you wanted to do you know something with it inside here and create a nice little boolean uh, you'll be able to do that and then the cool thing is i'll just kind of control z back before i converted this into a mesh and let's go back to hst3 and as i'm playing around with this thing if i wanted to kind of do this and go ahead and cause the boolean then if I grab the cylinder, because this is a GeoNodes preset, uh, it's still active. So it's really cool. So you can just kind of come in here and do a few extra things with it. And as usual, you can hold down Shift. And this really, like, I haven't found any shading errors by using it this way at all. And then, you know, once you're good, you convert that to a mesh. Come here. Um, if you're under Bevel Magic, you can just apply your modifiers delete that cutter out and you got something pretty cool and that's already pre-beveled preset I won't go into all that but don't forget the shift alt Q menu I mean there's a ton of stuff in here to go through it's only gonna work in edge mode so or edge or face words doesn't matter and as you come in here you have drop down menus to select vert edge vert and face or just vert select and then here something similar uh, you'll have a face selection tool which is pretty cool and then you also have the utilities down here flips and normals and things like that that are in the hard service toolbox that were not in bevel magic but now they're going to be in there it's just a nice little tight menu and the same thing is in both so anyways if you guys want to pick up bevel magic and or hard surface toolbox um, the hard surface toolbox contains everything or you can get bevel magic by itself and so I do like a, a bundle I've got light magic in there I mean it's all kind of cool stuff if you haven't used light magic if you come into your scene you can add a bunch of lights and you'll have them all listed if you go to lights and add a three-point light you'll get the uh, back the fill and the key and then you can change each one of these independently however you want and that's it I appreciate you guys watching see you on the next one